Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, I'm talking about this little guy right here, which is the OSS Toolset by Searpick. If you're unfamiliar with Searpick, they make covert entry tools, lockpicks, shims, all kinds of things to get you in places where maybe you don't necessarily have access to. And with that, they make this OSS Toolkit. If you're unfamiliar with OSS, it's in reference to the Office of Strategic Services. Back in World War II, it was stood up basically the front runner of the CIA. And so this comes in this little kind of like rubber piece, I guess. And inside of it, we have the OSS toolkit. So right here, we have our tension wrench. And then we have, which you can kind of fan out, our different tools being a Bogota, as well as a city pick, I think. And then this guy right here, kind of long reach. And then right here, a stainless steel saw. Right here is a closer look at them. And these can basically fan out. So depending on what one you want, you can basically take that there and you have your tension wrench, go ahead and put inside your lock and then whatever pick you want and you can start raking or a more nuanced version of. The way I end up working my reviews of pretty much anything is I will take it, use it, wear it, carry it, shoot it, whatever it may be, till I feel like I have enough time with it, and then I'll turn around and be like, hey, this was my experience with it. And so to that end, with the OSS tool set, which as I mentioned, comes with this handy little kind of like rubber sleeve, keeps everything in there snug, you can have this party every day carry, put it in your pocket, stash it somewhere, whatever you want to do with it. And to that end, I have been carrying one. I actually have two sets. And one of them been carrying basically since I got it. And the way I carry it every day is with my Amtec blade, Northman. Pretty sweet knife, and it has a fire sheath. And built in the fire sheath is actually this front section with this Velcro. And so I can peel it back. And right here, I have my OSS tool set. So how do I use this? Well, I was actually at a three-day night vision course with Amtec shooting up in North Idaho. And one of the guys there that was attending the course came from some ridiculous state where they have horrible gun laws. And I think part of it is like everything had, I don't know. Ultimately, the guy came and had like a trigger lock on his gun. Like the gun you put on like a pistol or something like that. And on top of it being in a lock box and all these other things. I don't know, he's from Maryland or something like that or Massachusetts probably, but there he was and didn't bring the key. Like flew all the way from the East Coast, did not have the key to unlock his carbine. And not something you can really get a bolt cutter on because it's basically two sides that basically sandwich over your, uh, your trigger guard and keep you from being able to fire your gun. And I was like, well, I have this, I don't know, kind of out of practice, but let me give it a go. So I spent probably, I don't know, probably about five, maybe 10 minutes just kind of raking. If you're unfamiliar with raking, inside of a lock, there's these fingers we'll say are basically pins and the pins have to get depressed to different levels at which point the tumbler can turn and you can basically open the lock. Raking is basically just going in there and trying to shove them down while putting tension on your tension wrench hoping to get them to drop down to the right levels so it'll turn. Super rudimentary. But five or 10 minutes later, unlocked it. He was pretty stoked because he could actually shoot at the carbine course or that night vision course where we were shooting carbine. And then fast forward, I don't know, a couple weeks or something like that. And I'd got this old box back and it had a lock on it because I think I shipped it back from Afghanistan when I was over there and it was this lock right here. So this time, not out on the range, but actually in the comfort of my home, sat there for, 
I don't know. I feel like this probably took like 15 or 20 minutes, but persistence ended up opening. Some amazing lock that I bought in Afghanistan, made in China with apparently a lifetime warranty. And again, it's one that does not make it easy to get in there with bolt cutters because you don't have a lot of space. But essentially, once you actually turn this, it rotates this bolt back and forth. And yeah, after a while, managed to get this thing undone. I'm not going to put it on anything, but I'm glad it's no longer on the case that it was on. So yeah, managed to put in some time with that OSS toolkit. But Ivan, what about that saw you mentioned? What have you cut yourself out of with it? Nothing. Honestly, haven't really ran into something where I've needed to use it. What will it cut through? How much time do you have? I mean, people have dug out of prison with like an MRE spoon. You could probably cut through handcuffs or anything else, or the chain anyway, if you really needed to and had the time. Probably better suited for something like cutting through flexi cuffs or something along those lines, but it's there if you should need it. And I think that's honestly kind of where this set fits in. Like, Ivan, why would I need to carry lock picks? I don't know. I mean, people have asked themselves probably a lot of things like why they would or would not have to do things over the last year or two. 2020, 2021, not a bad thing to have. Of course, it's only half of it. Like having the tools without having the skills, uh, you probably want to invest in the skills for the tools that you're actually carrying. But this for me has been pretty handy, especially because it's so small, it doesn't take up any space, and it essentially nests in something I'm already carrying, which is pretty handy. But, brings us to the bummer. Good news, bad news. Good news is you can sometimes get these. Bad news is, as far as sear pick goes, it's something they don't always carry, but they'll end up doing runs of these OSS toolkits. Your best bet, honestly, is to uh, like follow them on Instagram, stuff like that, and they will post when they end up doing a run. They, of course, make full-blown sets for everything whether it's padlocks or just like big sets of lock pick uh, lock pick sets and pretty much everything else shims all kinds of stuff but you can check out all their stuff over at their website there'll be a link down below and if and when they make another run of these depending on what you're looking for i would encourage you to pick one up pretty handy just to have and who knows may end up saving the day even if it's not for you but as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.